I just know I got into mode and I needed to save my family. And that family was, at that time, everybody in that room. Um, and that's what I, I, I was trained to do. I saw him and I went and got him. Thinking his combat days were behind him, Richard Fierro had taken his family to a Colorado LGBTQ club on Saturday night. The decorated Iraq and Afghanistan veteran said he was having a good time in Club Q when he heard gunfire. That's when Fierro says he sprung into action. Five people were killed, including the boyfriend of Fierro's daughter, identified by Colorado Springs Police as Raymond Green Vance, when a gunman opened fire. And at least another 17 were wounded. But the bloodshed could have been much worse. In a news conference on Monday night, Colorado Springs Mayor John Southers said that's thanks to Fierro and another man, Thomas James, who had rushed the shooter. Fierro said he grabbed the suspect by the armor the gunman was wearing and used the shooter's pistol to beat him. And I pulled him down. The young man that was that was late, he was hiding there, had jumped up with me. I don't know if he helped pull me, pull him down or not. I have no idea. Okay? That guy did the same act. I amazed him. Pull the dude down, pin him against the side, and just start. Oh, I think he went for his pistol. I don't know. Either way, I grabbed the pistol from him. And then I told the guy, move the AR, the kid in front of me, because he was at his head. I said, move the AR, get the AR away from him. And the kid did it. And then I started wailing on this dude. Fira added that a drag performer had also stomped on the attacker with high heels. Officials did not elaborate on the men's actions, and Fierro's comments provided details investigators have not spoken about. Fierro said he was detained for about an hour by police, who found him with a pistol in his hand in the confused aftermath of the shooting. The suspect, Anderson Lee Aldrich, was known to law enforcement. Police say they have yet to determine a motive for the attack, but the city's mayor and LGBTQ rights groups said the attack or the hallmarks of a hate crime. The 22-year-old remained under arrest at a hospital, presumably for injuries sustained when Fierro pummeled him in an effort to stop the assault. However, Fierro insists he is no hero. I try to save people and I didn't work for five, okay? There's five people that aren't home right now. 